Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all having a really, really good day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, I've been saying this in all my videos. I don't know who's watching what, but um, I'm not auditioning for being the next ASMR channel, nor am I running a phone sex operator line. Um, I have my, my an ear infection. My inner middle ear is inflamed or something. Um, so I'm on antibiotics. I hear like clicking, my ears are clogged, like it's a whole thing. But when I talk kind of low, I don't hear so much the clicking noises. Um, so that is why I'm talking like this right now. Um, and I was like, girl, I can't leave my, my besties without some tea. So grab a snack, grab a drink. Um, it's going to be like this. I can't get overly too excited. Um, but I should be back to normal next week. God willing, sending some good vibes. Um, if you want to support my channel, there's a couple links in the description. Also, there's a thanks button down below. And if you want a personalized video for me on Cameo, um, go ahead and request one. Um, okay. So listen, you guys. I have been getting asked a lot what I thought about the fans who called the police um, to do a wellness check on Britney and um, what I think about it and, and all of these things. The one thing that I want to start off this conversation with is that um, I believe that uh, the children are future, teach them well, girl, hang on, let me stop. Um, I miss being like, you have no idea like this thing is driving me insane because like I want to scream, I want to sing, I want to do all these, but I can't speak loud. It's just so freaking annoying. But anyways, um, what was that the fuck I was even saying? Oh yeah. Um, I, I'm saying this with like a lot of love and peace, right? I like to believe that everyone uh behind the worry the theories the conspiracies the everything there is love and there is caring for britney i believe in that and um that's why in the beginning it was so difficult for me to to put to understand and believe these conspiracies and theories and i would call them just like conspiracies and theories and i would be like you know i wouldn't want to hear anything um but i think that us as fans we are just so desperate to to know what is going on. We're so desperate to 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 believe that Britney is okay, and that is why we do these things, right? I think that these three fans who um, who have one of them has apologized for doing it, and she does regret it. I guess they were on a TikTok live, and. Um, I, I mean, to be very honest, I only saw a, a clip of it. Oh, not me exploding my boxers. I only saw a clip of it, so I can't really talk about it too much. But um, I did see her apology video, and um, I saw sincerity in her eyes, you know? And I think that these three fans, um, when they saw that uh, Porsche picture post, and then Brittany quickly deletes it, and then it had the 911 number on it. I can I I can imagine why, and I do, why they wanted to call and why they did it. Um, you can understand something and not agree with it, right? So I understand them, why they did it. And I also can say I, I never agreed with that. Um, the first thing I thought about this welfare wellness check that they did was um, I, I thought immediately about the trauma that Brittany experienced in 2007 when the police came and forcefully took her out of her home um, on the gurney that we all saw. I'm sure that that had a lot of trigger on her. Um, also, everything else that she went through throughout the conservatorship. Um, and I think that's something that maybe that they didn't think about. And in her apology video, she does uh, acknowledge that. Um, 
I think that Brittany knows that we love her. Brittany knows that we care. Brittany knows that we worry. Brittany knows, I think Brittany knows all of this. But I also think that Brittany's in this um, mental state that she just, I don't think she cares. I think she loves us, but I don't think she cares. And I think that she's like, I don't, I mean, I gave them everything for 20 something years. Like I'm done. Like I want my space. I want my privacy. I want my time. I don't owe it to anybody no more. All, all it would take is one video. That's what fans say. All it would take is one video, Brittany telling us that she's okay for, for everyone to like leave her alone. It's not going to be that easy. And I think Brittany knows that because people will say it's AI. People will say it's a green screen. People say it's not her. So it's just like this never ending feed that she will have to give the public. And I think that Brittany is like, it costs me, you know, there's a cost of fame, of course. And I think that, um, I think Brittany just is in this mental state that she just honestly only cares about herself. And I think that, you know, for the first time in her whole life, I think it's okay. I think it's okay to only care about yourself. I think that it's okay to, um, to, to worry about you and not feel like you have to give, you know, so much. And yes, of course, you can argue like the fans made Britney, but Britney also gave the fans. Britney never once canceled the show except when she hurt her leg, uh, her knee, and she canceled the Onyx Hotel tour. Um, I mean, honestly, I, or when she fell on stage in the Piece of Meat tour, I think those are the only two times that Britney has ever canceled. She's been on stage with fevers, even before the conservatorship. Like, she has given it her all. She's given us iconic moments, interviews. She's given us so much that I think that now she's like, I just don't care. Like, I, you know, I don't want to be Britney Spears anymore for a while. So when, when fans are overstepping and calling police and giving her address on the live on TikTok, like all of those things, I think they do cross that line, you know? But the hate that these three fans are getting, I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like anything when it has to do with hate. I think that, you know, I'm not sure about the other two, but I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure that um, anyone in their right mind can, can say, you know, yes, we were worried. Yes, we crossed the line that we shouldn't have crossed. But everything came out of love and worry and concern. And I don't like the way that that they are being treated. You know, I don't like the way that anybody who is worried about Brittany um, gets treated. I think that we all have to realize that we grew up with Brittany, and I don't know about you guys, but for me, Brittany, even though I don't know her anything, she's very special to me. And aside from Britney Spears, the performer, I love and care for Brittany, the person. And I just don't want anything to trigger her, to hurt her, to do anything, especially after hearing it with her own voice, everything she went through in the court recordings back in, when was it? Um, A year ago right in October was it October or June of not this year but last you know what I mean um, when that recordings came out so um, so I, 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 I tell you this I think let's not send hate to anybody let's all kind of agree to disagree let's all agree that everything was done out of concern and that we could use this as a learning uh, a learning, you know, um, a learning step, no, a learning, girl, these medications, they got me, not med you know, the antibiotics, let's take this as a learning, that word, you know, whatever, bitch, let's take this as a, anyways, let's learn from this, and, you know, let's voice our concerns, let's voice our love, let's voice our, um, you know, everyone is entitled to have their own theories. Let's just put some respect on it and let's
let's not invade her privacy ever again. Calling the police, doing wellness checks. I mean, there's a time and place for everything. And if she comes out on social media and says, help me, y'all, help me, then yes, call the police. Um, you know, to those three fans who did that, like, I don't think that they deserve hate. I think that they've learned their lesson. And I think that we can all agree that everything came out of love and concern. And I think that we can all take this as a learning experience. There's another word for it, but anyways. Um, and we now know that, you know, we have to respect her privacy and we have to, um, you know, but if there is something that, you know, she, that she says, or, you know, she literally goes on live and says, please help me, then that's very different. But, but I think that we just have to, yeah, I don't know, you guys, it's just such like a weird thing because, you know, the free Britney, uh, the free Britney, um, sorry, bitch, you know, the free Britney movement started with conspiracies and theories as well. And then look what it turned out to be. So that I think that is why fans, you know, they, they take everything she writes, everything she posts to heart. Because they're like, you know, maybe this is another free Britney thing that we have to really pay attention to. So I get it. It's super confusing. It's super like, but we want to help. We want to know she's okay. We want to make sure that she's safe. But then we also need to respect her privacy. But then, you know, there's, there's, there, there's always this huge mystery. So I just think that, you know, for now, we just have to like, honestly, the only thing we can do is wish her well and you know, pray that she's safe and pray that she's happy, pray that she's healing. Keep your eyes open, of course. And, you know, if there is immediate sign of danger, then of course act on it. But, um, but I do think we have to also, res we have to incredibly, very, very, very strictly respect her privacy and her space. So, you know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.